Greetings of the day. Today we will see Acurex uh, Semi Auto Analyzer. Very smart. As the name suggests, it's very smart working. So, first we will see all the accessories that comes with the analyzer. The first one here, this is the instrument cover which is used to keep the analyzer dust free. Also, there is a pen inside this which is used to uh, use for touch. This here is the power cord which, uh, which is used for the analyzer. This is the incubator which is used to incubate the samples. This is the power adapter for the incubator. There are two printer paper roll for the analyzer and there is one waste bottle. So now we will see the areas of the analyzer. This right here is the LCD display. Behind the display there is a printer. Here there is the measuring chamber. This is the aspiration tube and this is the aspiration switch. This is the back of the analyzer where there is a power socket, the power switch, this is a connector port and this is the drain tube and in the side of the analyzer, this right here is the peristaltic tube assembly, peristaltic pump assembly. Now we will switch on the analyzer, for this we will connect the power cord like this over here and we will switch on the switch. This is the start screen of the analyzer. Now we'll just put the printer paper roll over here. We'll just pull it. Insert this. So now this is the screen. So on the uh, top of the screen, you can see the date, the time, and the model name. And here you can uh, edit with uh, your choice uh, the lab name or the company name this part this box shows the test menu like these are the tests that you can perform this is the test menu this is wash option and this is the system so one by one we will see all these options the first one is the test menu from here you can edit any test like for example SGOT so from here you can edit the test by clicking on edit. The you can choose the methods whether it's kinetic or endpoint and you need to press enter. For units you need to press over here and you can change the units. For filter 1 you can change over here the filter type you can change from here. The read time, the delay time, the factor, the temperature and the sipping volume. All of this you can change. Now we will change the factor. So this will save and now you need to exit. The wash is to clean the flow cell. So when you click on wash, you need to aspirate the water, DI water. So... You need to put the DI water over here and you need to press wash and it automatically uh, washes the inside of the analyzer. The third one is the system. Here th this is the pump calibration. Pump calibration is the calibration for the peristaltic pump. You have to give 2 ml water to the analyzer and according to that it will set the uh, the peristaltic pump will set the uh, from here you can change the time and date this is the filter voltage that is the voltages for all the filters here you can edit the patient result this is the factory setting 
which is only for the service engineers and this is the QC chart from here you can auto print on or off if you auto print off then you need to print uh, you need to press print button to print the results and if it's on it will automatically print this is our uh, about this is here you can see the model name serial number of the analyzer the version and the interface and this is the home button by clicking on it you can again come to the home page now we'll see how to test a sample first we'll see for kinetic now from the test menu we'll see now from the test menu we'll select sgot edit here according to the reagents that you are using you need to change the read and delay time so read time will be 30 these are the delta points and this is the slope that you want decreasing or increasing now here the test that you do regularly will automatically will be shown over here So first we need to aspirate DI water, click on OK or we can also aspirate from the aspiration switch. Now this is attaining the temperature of 37 degrees. Now we will aspirate the sample, this is my sample, we will put the sample tube inside this vial and we will click on the switch this will take the time the time that you have you know, kept the delay time and the read time so this is the delta point one now uh, we have selected three delta points so there will be three different delta points this is the result. By clicking on print, the graph and the result will be printed on the printer paper. Now we will do a sample for endpoint. We'll do the endpoint testing. So I have kept my uh, samples for incubation. The incubation will be done as per the procedure. So first we'll go after the incubation, we'll do the calibration part. So first we'll aspirate this BI water. Now we'll aspirate blank. Now we'll aspirate the blank. Now it says press blank to save. So we'll press. Well, now we will aspirate the standard. For this we have to uh, aspirate uh, sta the standard two times. After the standard, now here we can see the standard absorbance, the factor. And now we will aspirate the sample. So here is the result and since the results are, uh, results are on the higher side, 
it says kindly wash before the next sample so we'll just run the di water the results of the test is shown on the printer paper